Mr. Master of Service, Minister Dari Pando, the Fletcher family, our chief from Busa, Mr. Fisher, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, thank you for the opportunity to have a moment to address you. I'm not one of the keynote speakers because I don't have the key. I have a short speech. I have to do some bit of ad here. And none of the companies I'm going to mention here pays me a salary. So I declare up front. I was recently invited as a speaker at the launch of a Zambian top 300 companies and Zambian National Business Awards in Lusaka. A partnership between Topco and KPMG Zambia. Around a year ago, Topco was asked to consider extending their business throughout the rest of this continent. Topco had an appetite for growth but felt they would need to enter some strategic partnerships with incredible, incredible companies with extensive local knowledge. Their research told them that an approach to KPMG would be a shrewd move. So that's what they did. And let's congratulate Topco and, and KPMG for this relationship. <laughs> Topco now have a joint venture agreement with KPMG Zambia, and I think all parties are delighted about that. So Topco International has been born alive, healthy, and I might add, with a lot, of, a lot to learn. The first country Topco has opened up, as I said, is Zambia. Speakers at the, their launch included the Minister of Trade and Industry, um, the Honorable Margaret Moana Carter, and Richard Fletcher, uh, Ralph's father, who is not here today. And Ralph, you can tell your dad that I spoke on my behalf and on his behalf tonight. I learned that Zambia is South Africa's largest trading partner. I did not know, but the minister said so. Everywhere you travel in Zambia, you see a familiar, a familiar logos of South African businesses. And they all seem to be doing rather well. Did you know that out of hundreds of stores, both in South Africa and the rest of Africa, shop price, biggest gross, crossing store by a large margin is in Lusaka. President Museveni one day said that ShopRite is the first embassy of South Africa. <laughs> we are working with KPMG and publishing a Zambia top of 300 companies list. It is not just letting Zambia know who are officially the best firms in Zambia, but the world will know about this best performance. The reason I'm telling you this is that Zambia wants to welcome South African businesses and investment. They want to do business with you, and you should open your arms to do business with Zambian, the Zambian business people. Zambia is a land which we honor, which was the home of our ruling party for many, many years, and contributed, like many other frontline states, to our liberation. With the publication and the Zambian National Business Awards in October 2016 and our joint venture with KPMG, we are in an ideal position to make initial introductions. On a personal note, I'll go to Zambia any time to live there. Our vision, which is partly why I'm speaking here, is to grow with our partners KPMG into Kenya, into Nigeria, into Ghana, and other African jurisdictions and the rest of the Africa, you will see that what TOPCO is doing is creating new partnerships, new networks on the African continent. It is very, very important as African business people, black and white, that we begin to trade with one another, to do business with one another, to recognize centers of excellence of each country and say where do we cooperate to avoid unnecessary duplications. Where do, which country should produce food and what type of food for the African continent?
to ensure there's food security? Which country should produce energy for the African continent without duplications for the benefit of Africa? Africa is a continent where whenever you lift up a stone, you find gold under. But we get this gold processes in foreign lands. We get this diamond process or platinum in foreign lands. Africans must wake up and ensure that every mineral we find under every stone here is processed here in the continent. If it's platinum, it must be processed until we make our earrings and our bracelets and sell them to the world. We can do it if you listen to the Minister of Science and Technology very carefully. We can do it on this continent. We don't have to wait for someone from Garibaldi land to sell us our watches which are made from our own gold. But if we work together as Africans, trade together, do business together, that will happen. And that is what TOPO is promoting on the continent. It's a noble mission which I think must be achieved, must be supported. There are people who make these functions and uh, very successful. And I want them to rise if they are in the hall so you can acknowledge them. Judith is one of them. Please, <laughs> madam. Where are, where are others? Are you all here? Thank you very much for organizing tonight and for organizing all other events. And I know in the future we'll even do much better. Thank you.